Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Booyah! Alright, in our last episode, well, I don't know where we left off, but we finished Jose, and I off-screen playing some Blitz Ball, so Waka now has um, attack reels, and we're still live on Twitch, um, so yeah, this is still December 19th, 2016, and now, let's continue on the moon flow, shall we? Let's get as far as we can, until I get tired and want to do st uh, other stuff. Not even two seconds in and already in edit. <laughs> Here we go. The joy of editing random battles out, man. Yeah! Hoi! Thanks, Yolanda. Good day. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. <laughs> Only have a hope of defeating sin. Oh, all right. I'm thinking of going to Guado Salam. I have not spoken with the Guado for some time. I'm thinking I have not spoken. I think I have not spoke. Wait, there's a treasure chest back. Alright. Oh, wait. No, I did say there was a treasure chest back there, and I was going to try to get it. Yep. Wow. Oh, well, actually, that then I know where you are. You're in freaking Makalania. Because then the second fight's in Bevel. And then the third fight's on Mount Xanarkand. Or Mount Gagazet, rather. <laughs> Baka. Why are they harassing the Waka? Oh, I guess that wasn't a Waka. Look, one of Kimari's friends. Yeah, Look. I hate that fight a lot, Grave. What? Both borrow summoners on all fours. Hornless Goldling. <laughs> you come to insult Kimari. Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. <laughs> wow, you taunt me, I get stronger. Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. No. Kimari alone. But. Uh, it's Kimari's problem. He can't interfere. So who? <laughs> I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. As you should they be. Aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. <laughs> confident. Yeah. Oh. All 
right, moving on. Oh, my God. Alright, and we're back again. Sorry about that, I didn't realize I still have my mic muted. As I was saying, um, I'm actually kind of upset at the post office right now because I was supposed to get a package today from Neon, and uh, no one showed up today. And he got a message back saying that uh, they that a delivery failed and that um, a notice was left in the mailbox. There was no notice left. No one showed up today. And, uh, yeah, so I'm a little upset about that. Uh, it is what it is. I guess we can go pick it up tomorrow or whatever. Fight off! It's alright, Neon. Not your fault, man. I plan to. I totally plan to, Dave. Just not anytime soon. <laughs> Now that, I don't know for sure, um, but what I can say is if you win, um, you get the trophy. It, it, it just really, it's more of a, uh, a nice sentimental thing, but you don't really, it doesn't make a difference as far as I know. Because really what makes the games easier or harder is dependent on your skill as a player and, and, and uh, your team's levels and what, who you have on your team. It, and that in the first game is kind of meant to be hard anyway. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that does help. Um, it, it, it helps a lot to put your controls on manual. That way you can directly control your players and you can slip past the uh, the defense a bit easier. No, I understand, dude. That's one of the reasons I don't like uh, losing that game. Oh, it's Belgamine. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Nihin. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. Sure, let's do it. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin, I have healed your Aeon. Let's do this. Who's she gonna summon? I think she summons Ixion. Yep, it's Ixion. Great. Let us come to fight. <laughs> Call whichever Aeon you want. I'm gonna summon Hector, because at least he can heal himself. <laughs> Alright. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. True, Vale 4 does have water, you're right. But she can't do this. Not that it matters, I guess. And water is greater than lightning, too, that's the other thing. Oh god, that would give him three turns. It might be worth it though. Yeah. Let's try it. Uh-oh. 
Note that this Ixion used haste. How is that it may use magic that Yuna's Dreamer cannot? Alright. How nice. But it explains that pretty early on in the game, man. Fire beats water. Or fire beats ice. Ice beats fire. Um, and then... Uh, good lord, Ixion! Jesus Christ, man! But yeah, fire beats ice. Ice beats fire. Lightning beats water. Water beats lightning. They're opposing elements rather than an elemental wheel. Just barely. God. If I didn't kill it there, it's for sure gonna kill my Ixion. Or, I mean, Veil Fort. God damn. Stop. That is enough. <laughs> Good lord. Still, that was interesting. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. Two dragon scales and a summoner's soul. Summoner's Soul is a very handy item, because it allows me to actually customize my Aeons. All right. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. It casting haste caught me off guard. I forgot I could do that. So I don't know why you would ever want to teach an Aeon life. That makes no sense. Unless you want to use it to kill undead, I guess. I mean, that's the only other thing I can think of. I could use the Dragon Scales to teach uh, Veil for Water, Watera, but I don't know really what purpose that would actually serve me right now. And plus, I might be able to use those Dragon Scales elsewhere. Because I am about to get Riku, you know? But then again... Uh, amusingly enough, I could give it to Ratke, but, you know. Or Ixion. Make it the way where he could uh, deal with foes that he would normally be healing. Actually, you know what? That makes sense to me, to be honest. That makes perfect sense to me. Hang on. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense to me. Make it to where Veilfor can fight things of electricity with, you know, without actually being a waste of space. Oh, sphere. It's crazy how many power spheres I have, but... Ah. Oh. of fireflies gather here when night falls the entire river glows like a sea of stars really <laughs> hey i got an idea we're not waiting till nightfall <laughs> no. then once we beat sin we're coming back
hurry or we'll miss the shoe pop. Right, shoe, shoe pop? pop? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. <laughs> it's a giant elephant looking thing. For sure. Yeah, really. This is a shoe pup. Whoa! Let's ride. Come on, let's go. All right. We board soon as we ready, huh? Yeah. Oh look, it's Awaka. Awaka, at your service. Hmm, I don't think that's worth it. All right, let's see. No, I didn't mean to click into that. Oh. Awaka. There we go. one in so long what you've been on one of these well just once ten years ago with Kamari remember shoe pop shook <laughs> the falling water shoe pop scoop up you know with long nose <laughs> you know jump in three more times for fun <laughs> Kimari worried Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I had fun. Kimari happy. <laughs> Biran is troublemaker, but Ronso do not lie. Summoners disappearing, that was not lie. Right. I'll be careful. <laughs> I'm planning to, yeah. Obviously, because I use Oron a lot. Ago. Ah, a history lesson. Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. What? Why? He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. <laughs> oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jacked never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. By the way, you like the uh, Chrono Cross save point right there? Um, right, right, you know, uh, there. You like the Chrono Cross save point right there? <laughs> Even after ten years, truly, the place seems to resist change. It would take something unusual. I don't know on that one, Grave. Well, I guess I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. No, I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes? <laughs> Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. <laughs> ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> oh, hey, there's the freaking tri... It is no there's, good. there's, uh... To find another way. The Maida clan symbol back around the curtain. Can cross on foot. Yes, Captain, sir. Which is also known as the Triforce, but That'll it's the originally the Maida clan. I used to think it was Where Maida. Will, Neon would know. There's a way. Oh boy. That's our captain. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. 
I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous Shupa? Sure, why not? Very well. <laughs> there are many things we do not know about the Shupa. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. <laughs> Water it sucks through its schmars somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. Interesting. Let the driver know when you're ready. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. <laughs> How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. <laughs> right? Alright. Oh, 5,000 gil. Jeez. Oops. Sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? I'll see, like I said, I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of machina may we not use, then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? <laughs> More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. A.K.A. Vegnagan. The war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, sins are punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? <laughs> Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 
<laughs> but wow. it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Uh, what could that be? Sit down. Sorry. Ah! The Albed. Let's see here. What can we do? Well, one thing. First things first. Titus, haste yourself. Yes, indeed. Waka. Uh, I guess you can just attack Waka. I don't think I have any lightning strike weapons, but I'll check. I might. Let's see, do I have any... I do, actually. How about that? cheer going on here. Of course, I don't know how you would cheer underwater, but hey. <laughs> oh, I was getting ready to use Death Charge. That move hurts. Just use a freaking uh, potion after this. Or maybe, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was this one. Scarcely call that a boss, though. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What are they after Yuna for? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh, wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. <laughs> I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansman say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Al better behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. <laughs> hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. 
It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. <laughs> <laughs>